good afternoon everybody welcome to our friday stream it is uh what's the date today december 15th 15th we're halfway through the halfway through the month 10 days of christmas we'll be doing another uh christmas stream next friday almost so, there yeah so today we're gonna i'm just you know what i haven't done in a long time i haven't just sat down and just done some creature drawing i love doing that and i haven't i feel like i haven't done it in like a year or, lo or longer. I've been, this is when a creature design course came out. Yeah, I was going to say, because I've just been, I've been focusing on animation so much, uh, doing plenty of drawing, lots and lots of drawing, but I haven't been doing much uh, like Photoshop digital painting and drawing and creature exploration and all that. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of sit back and just relax and have some fun doing that today with you guys. <laughs> but um, before I do, before I drink my delicious coffee, I've got... Dustin Blaze here. We got Nick Birch here. Got everyone here with us. And uh, Nick's going to tell you about some of the things we got going over, going on over at Creature Art Teacher. Yes, so it's that time of year. We are running our 12 Days of Christmas sale, where we are having a new sale every day from now until Christmas. And today is day three of that. And so today only, for 24 hours only, all of our animation courses are $5 or less. What? So wow. You what? Still, you can still get your Procreate Dreams course for a dollar, but as of today, you can also get your advanced animation. Uh, Come on, man. I got to pay my mortgage. How are we gonna, how am I going to pay my mortgage? You can also get animation on paper for a dollar. And so everything is five bucks or less on animation courses. <clears throat> We've also got uh, a, a signed limited edition Disney print available. We're getting low on those. Sold out. There's only 100 of these made, and when they are gone, they are gone forever. You can get those at creatureartteacher.com slash prints. Forever. Also, we're also running a buy one, get one free sale on our annual memberships. <clears throat> and with those, uh, if you become a member right now, we're also starting a holiday special starting today where we've got some. 20th anniversary Brother Bear holiday ornaments that are going to be signed by Aaron Blaze and Tony Cipriano. That's me. Tony's the one who did the sculpture of this ornament. Uh, these are available at, on Disney.com. But uh, we got a bunch, and we're going to randomly, if you become either an annual or a monthly streaming member to our website, between now and December 25th, you're going to be eligible to receive a signed ornament from us. For free. A little backstory on that ornament too, by the way. The, the ornament is a depiction of one of the shots in the movie, and it's a shot where Kenai and Coda are hanging off a cliff. Not hanging, but they're kind of lay leaning into the wind over a cliff, and the wind is holding them up. And we actually, when we did our research trip uh, for Brother Bear back in 2000, uh, or it may have been 99. Anyway, we were in Alaska and on this really windy valley and uh chuck williams and i and tim hodge were le leaning into the wind and we took photos of ourselves doing that and that's the inspiration behind that shot in the movie so we really did that and uh twitch question uh, actually before we get into the twitch question <clears throat> um in case you're already an existing member don't worry you're automatically eligible so we're going to randomly pick from our membership base monthly and annual members we've got about eight or nine of these ornaments to give away. And uh, yeah, so you got between now and December 25th to sign up, and then we'll be picking who gets them. So nice. head on over to futureartsteacher.com. Let's dive into some drawings, and I'll hit the rest of this quick. Right on. Let's do it. We did get a Twitch comment where someone said, I already finished your Procreate Dreams course. It's great. Now I've just got to get do some, actually make something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so let me jump back here. I got had the wrong brush. So what I'm going to do, I want to. I was thinking about some interesting lighting, and maybe like dragon-like creature. Uh, got a question here from Instagram. Uh, hello, Aaron. Scribbly. I love your work uh, so much. Do you have any downloadable photo uh, shop files of your artworks? Uh, that way, I can study how you how you make your illustrations. Most of our courses include downloadable Photoshop files. So any of the drawing courses almost always have yeah. Photoshop files included. So I'm just kind of scribbling 
finding shape. What's that? And uh, someone else is uh, is asking: Is this a uh, polar bear and reindeer hybrid? No, I want I want I, I want to do something kind of fantasy creature. I'm just I'm right now. I'm just exploring. I'm not sure what we're gonna get out of this. Should we make a uh, should we make a creature that's uh, teaching art. <laughs> I got a few uh, ideas here that I want to do. And someone's a, uh, someone here is curious on uh, what movies you have animated. Well, I was an animator on The Rescuers Down Under, <clears throat> on Beauty and the Beast, and on Aladdin, on uh, uh, The Lion King, Pocahontas, Mulan, and I directed Brother Bear. You know the way the head was and those two spikes were on, on the on the back it kind of gave me the feel of the 90s Godzilla the American 90s Godzilla. Oh yeah. Yep, in fact somebody just wrote in the com comments is is it Godzilla? <laughs> This is just exploration. I'm not even, I'm not committing to this yet. Not sure if I'm crazy about this yet. Uh, I am from India. We Indians do not have the proper education for animation. So how can we achieve best styles for international movies? Well, I've got, I've got courses on my site, uh, that are all extremely affordable and, um, and, you know, there's so much uh, material, training materials out on the Internet that are available. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I just really recommend Internet training and, uh, and, and, you know, diving into those resources. I think a lot as well, and I'm not sure what it's like in India. I know here in the States you know, college education for private colleges, art schools, and that sort of thing have become extremely expensive and hard to, uh, hard to afford. So, um, there's definitely other options out there. Tyler on YouTube asks, great to see you guys again, Eric. Uh, what do you like to do for quick sketches or warm-ups or when you're just doodling? Um, a lot of what I'm doing right now are, uh, I like uh, animal drawing. Uh, did you do any animation for Brother Bear? Yeah, I did a little bit of animation. Um, I uh, I was directing. I directed the movie, but I when I when times were slow and I had I had the time to do it, I I, I actually did get in there and do some animation. Uh, once you buy the course, will it expire? No, the courses never expire. the the down the the downloads never expire. Yeah, the yeah they're not for they're not for rent. They are for for purchase. Yep. Hmm. What in the world? Couple of, couple of folks are very curious on what kind of creature this is. Some are wondering if this is a dragon, if this is some, yeah. some other animal. I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of feeling that vibe right now. Feels like he just unintentionally just drew that that heart over there to the left. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's a val Valentine dragon. <laughs> So what I like to do is I'll, I'll flip the image a lot so I can see it in different, uh, in a different,
perspective. And that allows me to kind of correct my drawing. There we go. That ought to, mic ought to be better now. Hello. Does creature ideation uh, involve drawing different animal parts? Creature uh, what? Uh, ideation, I believe it means uh, creature ideas. Um, do creature ideas involve drawing different animal parts? And how do you achieve the flow of a creature's anatomy? Oh, I, you know, it's, yeah, it's understanding anatomy going into it, you know, as far as making up creatures. And then I'm, I'm constantly playing with form and uh, rhythm, uh, all that sort of thing. Uh, what's the best number of frames for a good animation? I, I work at 24 frames per second. And as far as the number of frames, it just depends on how long a shot is. Um, but I, you know, my, an average shot is usually about eight seconds. That's what, that's what they work out to be. At least when, when we were in feature animation, our average shot was about eight seconds long. And, um, and, uh, you know, then it's a, ob obviously a combination of a collection of shots throughout the film. Migs on YouTube says, if you put a pencil in his hand, it'll be an actual creature art teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of uh, Maleficent, like a real version, a pushed version of Maleficent. Yeah, it kind of has that vibe to it. Uh, I've been having a difficult time with, uh, with art block. Any tips? Yeah, do what I'm doing right now. This is a this is a lot of what I do when I have art block, is I just sit down and start drawing and just making stuff up, and um, you know, see where it goes. Yeah, I start. I was drawing earlier, and they, they start out as like little scribbles like this, and you play with those scribbles, and you start ending up with something that's kind of fun. And that should you know it should get you through that that block. Rami on YouTube says, <clears throat> I learned to love cartoons because of you. I wonder if you can teach us how you imagine the shape of cartoon eyes at some point. Well, the, you know, <laughs> cartoon eyes, is, there's all different ways of portraying eyes in the, actually, I'm going to turn on the, is it on in here? It is on. I'm going to turn up the, the fan. Sorry, guys, hold on one second. But um, cartoon eyes, it all depends on, uh, um, it depends on your stylization, uh, the art direction, all of that. So um, there's no one way to do eyes in animation. There's all kinds of ways to do all kinds of parts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to knock the opacity back. And then I can go in and refine the drawing here a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, I like drawing big like this. For those people who are just joining us and also uh, because my mic wasn't working, I want to let you know that we've got a bunch of sales going on over at CreatureArtTeacher.com <clears throat> right now. Uh, the biggest is that we've got buy one, get one free on our annual premium membership. And this weekend... Uh, is your last weekend to get in on that BOGO deal. The, the buy one, get one on annual plans ends on Monday. We are also running a special on memberships in general, where if you buy a membership between now and December 25th, you're automatically eligible to receive a free, uh, we're going to randomly select uh, members to select, to get a free signed ornament from Aaron Blaze and Tony Cipriano it's a brother bear 20th anniversary ornament we've got about eight or nine of these to give away <clears throat> so if you're an existing member or if you sign up for a membership between now and december 25th you can be eligible to get one <clears throat> also we've got our 12 days of christmas sale going on over at creatureartteacher.com all of our animation courses today only are five dollars or less nice uh do you like mythology yeah, I love mythology. I like mixology. And uh, Dustin Campbell uh, 
Art says, uh, don't see you draw many fantasy animals, if memory serves. Oh, actually, I used to do a lot of them. Lots and lots of them. I just haven't done them in the last uh, year or so, just because I've been focused so much on our animation projects. So this one's, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I feel yeah, like this, I like is, it. this is going to be a, a <clears throat> cool one. We're going to have some fun with the textures. What are you thinking about for the uh, lot? Uh, thinking about for the line work on this creature? Well, I'm doing the line work right now, just the, the, the detailed drawing. For me, it's going to be the lighting. I, I feel like I want to have him sitting in like a, a, a ring of fire, like he's just caught all, everything on fire. I want to have a little bit of glow coming from his mouth and his nose. And I want him to be underlit. So a little bit of lighting, you know, from the fire, lighting him from underneath, I think will be really dramatic so i'm going to play with that idea once i get them all drawn in here jim on youtube says i'm a proud member of creature art teacher will there all right be, will there be another live watercolor workshop it was great um yes there will be uh we don't have one planned right now but yes we because that's one of my favorite <clears throat> it's one of my favorite mediums to teach is watercolor it's it's one of my favorite mediums period and um being able to teach that is a lot of fun. So we definitely will be having another live watercolor event, probably in 2024. We just haven't put anything on the calendar yet. Yeah. Uh, Pit of Craziness on YouTube says, hey, this is my first time watching your streams. I followed you on Facebook for a bit. <clears throat> do you ever draw in grayscale for lighting contrast, or do you always go straight to color after it's drawn? I uh, usually go straight to color. Um, uh, Sometimes I've, I've, I've been known to do a little grayscale, but um, I like getting right into color. And I've got a, a method to that, that where I, you know, I, I lay in local color first, and then I find my shadows and, and everything. So um, there's definitely a method to the way I do it. Uh, we don't have animation professors in Iran. How do we get, how can we get training? online that's that's your best you know your training uh there's so much great training online and uh uh whether it's download or you do live classes online but i i i think there's really great downloadable courses we've got you know several animation courses on our site that i teach um and i then i really recommend as well well thanks So yeah, online is uh, is a really great option nowadays. All of those animation courses right now are five dollars or less. By the way, at what stage of your drawing process do you start thinking about the creature's personality? Um, I I try to think about it the whole time. In this case, I'm really into the. Uh, I'm thinking about texture more than anything. I'm, I'm trying to get personality in his in his demeanor, in his pose, in his expression. But I um, I uh, like I said, this one I'm I'm really kind of looking forward to getting into the lighting and the just the texture of this character, of this creature. <laughs> Carly says, hey, Aaron, I very recently got an iPad Pro. This is my first time trying out digital drawing, so I took the opportunity to buy some of your courses to help me get started. Oh, right on. If well, you have an iPad, we've got courses on drawing in Procreate and also their new animation course or class software called Procreate Dreams. And our courses, both of those, it's $5 for the Procreate drawing class and it's just one dollar for the Procreate Dreams animation class. Right on. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your. No, not at all. <clears throat> I'm. I've got like a tickle in my throat today. I can't get rid of this. I was gonna say. And then I always like to flop it back. Hi, Aaron. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, eh? Uh, I see you for this uh, 
drawing, you kind of started with a giraffe skull as your uh, foundation. Uh, would you say that for creature design, we should think about anatomy early? Oh, yeah. You always should be thinking about the anatomy, what's going on in there, thinking about that, con that structure always. Are you drawing on a Wacom? I am. I'm drawing on a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. 30 so you'll see, even though I'm tying it down, I'm trying to go fairly quickly. Uh, will this be on your YouTube later? Yes. This will definitely be on YouTube. All of our live streams are always available as a replay on both our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm not, I haven't done? I'm going to record this. And they're on Twitch when I can remember to go in and... <laughs> because they don't automatically save them. You have to manually set them as a... <laughs> so weird. And for whatever reason, it's... Not recording. Configure recording. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to record the Cintiq 32 Pro. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's not giving me the option. Computer audio. Anyway. Recording it and reopening. Yeah. <clears throat> That's all right. We're recording on OBS anyway, but. Oh, BS. Oh, BS. Boy, he's spiky. Are you using any uh, reference, or is this totally 100% imagination? 100% imagination. Imagination. Hey, Aaron, are you growing back the ponytail? Yeah, I'm just gotten lazy. <laughs> I haven't cut my hair. Yeah, we're which is how I ended up with long hair for twenty some odd years before. Just too lazy to get my hair cut. Now the real question is who who among us is going to get our hair cut first? Yeah. Did giraffes, baboons, or hyenas come into your camp in Kenya at all? Yes. Uh, baboons, hyenas, hyenas, yeah, and a lot of hippos, and a lot of hippos, exactly. And I don't remember no giraffes in the camp. Yeah, I don't remember mm -hmm. any walking them up into the camp when I uh, when I was there. Well, and the they were camp there. property. We, we went on the night drives, Dustin. Yeah, they were right next oh, to it. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. They mostly came out at night because they. Um, the freaks come out at night. Yeah, they don't. Their their skin is too sensitive. Yeah, yeah. To the sun. Yeah, I do remember uh, on the night night drive seeing the hippos everywhere on the field. <clears throat> Have you watched Planet Earth three yet? And if so, what do you think about? I it? I love it. Yes. Oh, did I? And I love it. I love it. Nice. I love That's the show. Good. <laughs> Did I you really... hear about Mark Hen retire? Yes, I did. Mark Hen? Yeah, Mark Hen, after 43 years, has retired. Wow. Mark and I worked very close together for years and years. And I um, actually got to see him last November. <clears throat> Not this past November, but the November before, I guess I should say. <clears throat> so you guys worked together on a lot of roles. So you, yeah. he animated Bell and you animated Beast. Beast, exactly. Studio. And he... then animated jasmine and you did raja yeah right? yeah and what else and then uh he did simba i did nala young simba and young Nala. yeah right? yeah so we we did a lot of work together i learned a lot from mark a lot of the stuff that i teach in my expression course clear uh, creating clear expressions i i learned from mark um what did mark do on mulan he did mulan Oh, he did. He was in charge of the sense. character Mulan. He was Mulan. the princess guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mark was one of the most prolific animators at Disney. 
but he was always known for his princesses, right? Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, I don't know. World peace. I want to get Snow Bear done. World peas. Visualize world peas. I always remember seeing that as a bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> it always stuck in my head. It's fun doing these just random kind <clears throat> of shapes. And this texture. Blaze Bolocks on Twitch says, Holy macaroni, that drawing is the best drawing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. That's a Holy big statement there, buddy. Holy macaroni. Uh, have you already thought of a name uh, for the drawing? Bob. Steven. <laughs> How was Andreas Deja when you got to see him at CTN? Oh, he was great. Andreas is always great. Andreas is a very uh, generous, kind-hearted artist. An yeah. Amazing animator. He's all right. <laughs> Silent Bob says, I heard that the Jasmine was, was <clears throat> for Jasmine, the designer was using his sister as reference. Is that correct? That yep, and that's Mark Hen. That was Mark Hen again. Yes, and he was using his sister. Tony on YouTube, do you prefer teaching to industry work? Yes. Um, yes. Absolutely. I love teaching. I, um, I mean, you do both. I, I do so. both, yeah. I mean, uh, if we're talking about working at a big studio, I don't really miss that as much. Um, but if we're talking about, like, one of the great things is that I get to do my industry work, like Snow Bear, and teach at the same time. So while I'm making it, I'm you know, you can tune in as a member and watch me make it. And so that, that to me is a lot of fun. Aaron, if you were not an animator, what do you think you would have become? Musician. I love music as well. And I play a little bit of music. I'm not great at it, but I, I play enough to have fun with it and know that if I had followed up and gotten serious about it, I could have done some fun stuff, I think. Is this the Krita app? No, this is Photoshop. I'm working in Photoshop. Although he's worked in Krita and it's very similar. Yeah, it is. And uh, hey, Aaron, uh, hey. did you ever hear about what Disney was like once you got hired into Disney? Say that again? Uh, did you ever hear what Disney was like once you got hired in, into Disney? Did like, I ever hear what Disney was like once I got, I was there. I'm not sure I'm <laughs> understanding. I didn't, like, I wasn't, I never really thought about Disney before I got hired. If that's, I think that's what they're trying yeah, to Yeah, no, I never, <clears throat> I never, I was never, there was a lot of guys that their whole dream was to be with Disney, to work for Disney, you know, that I worked with. And, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't one of those guys. I, I wanted to be a painter and uh and a designer and um uh illustrator and so i um went to school for illustration i didn't go to school for animation and um but i uh i had an opportunity to put forward a portfolio to disney uh for an internship a training program and i thought that would be pretty interesting and so i did having never thought about animation um, and then I was accepted into the, uh, this training program and it turned out to be really, really cool. And I fell in love with the art and that was 35 years ago, 36 years ago. YouTube comment. <clears throat> I bought two courses from you and I really like the method of teaching and exercises. I practice all day and I'm getting big results. Thanks Aaron for the discounts, especially for people from Latin America. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you for mentioning it. Uh, do you have any issues with carpal tunnel or hand discomfort? I don't. No, I draw very specific. I draw with my, my Cintiq up, up in the air, uh, at almost like a 80 degree angle, basically 95 or 85 degree angle, mate, actually. And, um, and so I, and my Cintiq is also very big. It's a 32 inch, uh, screen. And so I'm, I really use my shoulder more than my wrist or my fingers. And, uh, and that really helps a lot in controlling <clears throat> carpal tunnel. Mackenzie asks, do you know when the next in-person event you'll be attending is? I'd love to meet you and your team in person one day. 
Um, we don't have anything planned right now. Um, we are really focused on getting our production snow bear uh, finished and out the door, and that's going to take until probably May or, or as late as June. Uh, we're hoping it'll be quicker than that, uh, but that's that's our big focus. So probably not until next fall will we be out meeting people again. Although we will be at All You Can Eat Barbecue Rib Night at the Sizzler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, every third Thursday. So look for us there. Yeah, but don't bother me while I'm eating my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we're actually trying to eliminate travel until Snow Bear is done. So although I do think we might try to get to Annecy this year. To do a little yes, scouting. but Annecy is what, June? Yeah, June, so, yeah. yeah, so well, that'll probably be our next big excursion is Annecy in France. Uh, can you tell if Disney has hidden messages in their movies, or are these just conspiracies? No, they're. I mean, they're not messages. No, no. There's no hidden messages. No, but no there are subliminal messages. There's little. There's little Easter eggs here and there. By that, Disney that products. People, yeah, right. That people put in every once in a while, or did put in. Twitch comment. I just bought the full animation course and the character design course. Here's to taking the new year with some new animation skills. Right on. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got the drawing done, and uh, that's probably the quickest I got a, a, a new creature drawing done from scratch in a while. Uh, let's flop that real quick, just to make sure we're feeling pretty good. I'm kind of digging that. What we're gonna ha we're gonna end up with some smoke and fire kind of taking over the front. So a lot of what's happening on the right uh, and left, and then I'm gonna have him silhouetted. Kind of against a light background as well so he's going to be in darkness other than being underlit i think is how i want to how i want to do it uh, sarah Roz on uh, instagram says aaron uh, was just talking about you at uh, work the other day. Oh, the other uh, day. The other day. Uh, some guests overheard my conversation for for the love of traditional animation, and they said they met a Ruben Aquino once. Ruben Aquino. Aquino. Yeah. Ruben Aquino, Ruben Aquino uh, uh, used to work with us at in Florida. He was the supervising animator of Ursula, ah. and he also created Adult Simba. He was a supervisor of that, and he was Powhatan in Pocahontas. And, and Palpatine in Star Wars. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and he, um, he also uh, animated um, Danahi in Brother Bear. And, um, yeah. Which Aaron directed. Yeah. Bru Ruben Ruben's an amazing animator. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of going in with a local color and solid because I'm going to use this. I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to do a uh, clipping mask over the top of it. And we're going to play with some of the color. But I want to get this silhouette filled in first. We're going to play with some textures and all kinds of stuff. So this is basically just coloring in the lines going through. Do you relate your creature designs to habitat as part of the design process? Yeah, well, there's a difference. I, I kind of think of my creatures in two different ways. So, stuff like this, um, 
more fantasy dragony type stuff i don't think about habitat too much um but when i do get into thinking about creatures <clears throat> like our hidden creatures and and alien creatures and things like that habitat really drives the actual design of the creature in fact in our aaron has a whole course on care i'm uh, sorry creature design on our website creatureartteacher.com that's yes. a mouthful <clears throat> and he goes through that there's a whole lesson on yeah uh, thinking about environment. letting the environment drive the physiology of the creature which i learned a lot of that from terrell whitlatch who's probably the best creature designer out there yeah she's all right <laughs> She's amazing. We're going to try to get her to do a course for us at some point. Yes. Hi, Aaron. Hi, how's it going? How's it going, e? Love your drawing. Thank you. Uh, I've been drawing... Uh, I've been watching uh, your How to Draw Big Cats tutorials and was wondering if you had any tips for how to do different expressions for a cat's face. Yeah, I mean, it's it's understanding the musculature. So get in there. And a lot of the expression is going to come from the brow and obviously the mouth. But the brow is going to give you the most expression, the brow and the eyes. So that's where you want to focus your your attention. And if you're pushing it, if you're wanting to push it, obviously to more anthropomorphic type of expressions, then really look at uh, human expressions as well and mimic those with the brow. As a follow-up from the earlier question, uh, Sarah Ross responded with, that's what my uh, uh, guest said, uh, Sim uh, that he animated Simba and Ursula. Didn't you animate Nala? I did. Young Nala. I created young little, little Nala cub little tiny nala you could fit her in your pocket <laughs> that's right you can fit her right in your little pocket so there we are I'm, I'm constantly rotating my my image back and forth i'm always flopping it back and forth just so i can see it in a new light uh any tips on making a good silhouette for your art yes you want clarity in your silhouette so your silhouette should tell the story of whatever the pose is that you're trying to get across <clears throat> And so here I, I purposely did the silhouette in a way that his head was going to not overlap his body too much, the chin and all of that. I wanted that to be clear. But I, I set him in a way that I have overlapping shapes so that we get depth, so his head is coming forward. And I wanted those spikes on his back to really uh, silhouette against the, the backdrop as well, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fill that in. I think I want to fill it in. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's going to be cool. Good, good. <laughs> uh, this dragon is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Feels nostalgic. It reminds me of the Black Cauldron or Dragon's Lair. Ah, cool. Out of curiosity, have you worked with or met Don Bluth before? No, I've never met Don Bluth. Um, I've always wanted to. You know John Pomeroy very well. I know John Pomeroy very well, and um, uh, but I've just never had a chance to meet Don Bluth. For people just joining us, I want to let you know that Aaron, if you're new to these streams or you've never seen him before, or even if you watch tons of his streams, we've got a bunch of sales for Christmas going on over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. Everything is 40% off or more. Memberships right now, annual memberships, are buy one, get one free. So you can buy one for yourself and send one to a friend. And what's really cool about the annual membership is it includes all 700 hours of content on our website, all of our photo packs, all of our... Uh, brushes and that work in Photoshop and Procreate and all sorts of stuff, plus everything we release over the next year. <clears throat> also, 
If you wanna buy courses a la carte, you can always do that. And today only as part of our 12 days of Christmas, all of our animation courses are $5 or less. Some of them are just $1 and that's yours to keep. So head on over to creatureartteacher.com and check those out. One last thing, we also have a new Art of Aaron Blaze volume two book that is available at Creature Art Teacher. It's shipping now. If you're in the US, you still got time to get it for Christmas. We recommend that you do express shipping on that. If you're in Europe, you're probably not gonna get it for Christmas by now, but I would go ahead and order because supplies are limited and our last volume one book sold out and is out of print. So you can get that at creatureartteacher.com slash books. Again, creatureartteacher.com slash books. And we've even got some signed books over there as well. So check it out. That's cool. CBS. And Sarah Roz, uh, uh, as I thank you for sharing your work with, uh, with us all, I've been following you and your work since I was in college at IRSC back in 2009. Wow. You're going way back. Way back in the D. Back in the D. Back in the D. Uh, where so I wanted to get, just get a sense of what the composition is going to look like. So here you can get a sense of just heat and fire, just very roughly laid in. We'll get we'll get more uh, refined with it. Go ahead, Dustin. Uh, where did you study animation? I studied animation at Disney. Believe it or not, I uh, I got a degree in in uh, <clears throat> illustration from. Um, well, I never got my degree, but I got a certificate for illustration from the Ringling College of Art and Design in Sarasota, Florida. And then I was accepted into a training program at Disney where I, um, I was trained to become an animator. And so that's where I got all my training. Uh, my drawing style is very different from yours. Well, that's when, good. That's very good. Uh, when you have a whole studio full of different styles, how do they get everybody to create something to look the same and decide what style to go with? Well, that's part of the that's part of the discipline. So what we do is, you know, the artists have to be good enough that they can change their style. That's very important. And so uh, that's a big part of working on uh, working in a studio and working on a film. And uh, and then from there, um, Everyone is uh, really, they, they practice, they get together. There's an art director and, a, and a, usually a, a visual stylist that kind of come together and they are the ones that come up with the look of the film. And, um, and the rest of the artists follow suit and, you know, try to draw like, the, like they're supposed to for that style. You know, if you look at Aladdin compared to, say, The Lion King, those two movies were done back to back, but the two styles are very different. We had to learn those two, the style, you know, right afterwards. Uh, so personal mm. question. So you, so you say that, um, if someone were to present like a portfolio or, a or a demo reel, yeah, like the strongest ones would be ones that had that show different variations in styles of art and, yes. uh, and animations. Yes. Because it'll show that your adaptability. Exactly. So what I'm doing now is just kind of going through and playing with some of the color on this guy. Uh, Chinmay underscore S writes, do you remember my big cat snout and head in box form? Do I remember what? Big cat snout and head in box form. I don't know what that means. Maybe construction, the way you construct a big cat? I believe so. Because that's... Um, is, someone, is, is someone by the name of Chin May in, uh, um, on the Instagram. Yeah. Um... I mean, there, there's ways of, yeah, you can, you can create a box shape if that's what you're asking. And, uh, definitely <laughs> what's that? Oh, just, uh, a person asking a question. Go, uh, go ahead. Oh, 
And, um, but yeah, I mean, there, there's ways of constructing the head in that way using box shapes and, and all of that. Yes. Yeah, this is a question I was giggling at. Um, who are the other dudes with you? I heard Schwarzenegger and, and the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. Does everyone <laughs> in there do voiceovers? <laughs> That would be that would me. be my son Dustin and my business partner and brother-in-law Nick Birch. Are you ever frustrated with your career? No. I've worked very hard with it, and uh, at one time when I was younger, I would get impatient with it. But I was probably, you know, that'd probably be the biggest piece of advice I would go back and tell myself is to relax and enjoy the ride. Just go with the flow, man. So here I'm I'm just getting random color in. I'm not really doing any lighting yet. Could Procreate Dreams make a full-length animation like Barbie, Cinderella, or 101 Dalmatians, for instance? Yes. Yes, it could. Absolutely. Somebody wrote out the... Uh... Arnold quote in Instagram, put the cookie down. <laughs> no. Uh, does your son animate also? No. Uh, no, I do not. I, I did used to draw quite a bit when I was younger, but nowadays I, I do wildlife photography. In fact, you can find my wildlife, uh, uh, wildlife uh, photograph references uh, on creatureartteacher.com. And also I have a uh, Instagram of Dustin underscore Blaze, if you would like to see some, some of my style of photography. Yes, really good photography. Oh, thank you. Fuzzy Dragon on Twitch asks, <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting a few of your animation courses. Can you tell us about a few of them, what's included? Yes, yeah, so my original animation course is the Fundamentals of Animation, where I go through and talk about the 12 fundamentals, swatch and stretch, uh, appeal, overlap, follow through, all kinds of different things. And I talk about how that's applied to character animation. I also go through and talk about my approach to animating shots, all of that. And that's all in my original uh, course. Then I've got a little bit more advanced course on acting for animation. And uh, where I go through several shots and we animate them together. And uh, you can learn animation that way. And then I've got... Uh, was it breaking down complex shots? What was it's that? Separating the performance from the mechanics. Again, yeah, separating the performance, yeah, which yeah. is only a dollar. Right now. Yeah, that's a that one's that one I really enjoyed doing too. And in that, it's like character interaction, yeah. dialogue. <clears throat> um, you go through a you know complex turnarounds, that sort of stuff. Yeah, it, that one was a lot of fun. What is your recommended app for, excuse me, um, recommended app for animation for the, for the iPad? Uh, Procreate Dreams. Yeah, that's a good one. Absolutely. Procreate Dreams. That is, uh, it's such a great piece of software. And, uh, you know, I've, I've animated an entire short in it. And um, I was lucky enough to get the, the, uh, be involved with Procreate and help, uh, promote the software and so i i got the software early and uh really have enjoyed uh working it. as a matter of fact i created a course on how to use it and you can get that course for one dollar one dollar one dollar and Boy, every, that's a kind of a common theme here is a dollar I mean, go to a dollar <laughs> creatureartteacher.com slash dreams will take you straight to that course yeah <clears throat> twitch question any resources that you suggest for learning imaginative drawing well, um, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, drawing from life is going to help your imagination drawing. Drawing from life and getting in there and understanding what the real world uh, consists of and drawing the real world will really help your drawing from imagination. I really recommend that. Uh, how much RAM would I have to download uh to render such a procreate film um ram is a processing hardware i think you meant how much storage would you need to download 
Um, yeah, would, would that be more of a Nick question, do you think? Hold on one second. What was the question? Um, how much, uh, how much mem memory would, would you need to download a render such as a, a Procreate made film? Like a film made out of Procreate? How much? Like how, like how, how big a files can they get? Well, they can be huge, but it just depends on what you're, I mean, that's, that has to do with how many layers you have. There's no way to, it could be, you know. It could be. It could be anything. You could be a hundred. You could have a hundred characters in a shot, or you could have one. Yeah. Like, how big did the the dream short get? Like, it uh, wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. Uh, and then you can you can export it and re-import it, and it'll get rid of the history, which will really shrink the file too. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Sarah Ross says, "I love that y'all are a father and son duo." Who, Nick and I? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally, you too. What voice would you give this dragon? Uh, I don't know. Hello. <laughs> it's a bit hot in here. Hello. <laughs> I got tea over the lava kettle. <laughs> That's funny. You should just picture that, just a giant spike dragon coming out from... From behind the steam and also just hello <laughs> <laughs> uh do you have any tips for having better line work on the cleanup stage after you do the rough sketch do i have better tips on Say it one more time. I'm sorry. After you do the rough sketch, do you have any tips for the cleanup phase? Yeah, you know, let, yeah, because each step is really a folk. You're focusing on something different. So the rough stage is really finding shape, anatomy, rough shape, and rough anatomy. So the tie down stage is really all about that. It's all about you know redefining, going to the next level of detail, and getting in there and and uh, Focusing on that without going too crazy with it, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Is uh, what I've what I've done here is you know I've I've indicated a little bit of detail, but not so much that it's going to uh, slow me down. And so here you can see I'm playing with the lighting now. <clears throat> I'm getting with uh, getting in there with uh, under lighting, and and uh, I'm and I'm I'm also. Um, Kind of faking the lighting too. I'm, I'm adding shadow where I feel like it, it's needed in the composition and those types of things. Uh, the person I was asking about the um, the big cat head and uh, head and snout in uh, box form, um, it was actually asking as I didn't understand from your big cat's uh, courses. Can you please show a uh, big cat snout and head in in a box form? Uh, for as a cross section oh not right now no because i'm in the middle of doing this illustration but um I, we can do that in a little bit or we can make that as a youtube video down, the, down yeah there. we could do it as a youtube video for sure uh martin martin burger martin martin on instagram uh Question, have you seen the announcement of the Bancroft brothers about their new 2D animated feature film? So cool. They're doing a 2D animated feature? Uh, oh, dear. I haven't seen anything on that. No, but it doesn't mean they're not. We don't know anything about it, so it's obviously not true. <laughs> <laughs> the only things that are true are things that we know about. <laughs> so here you can see relatively quickly you know we, we're just one hour into this illustration um we can start to get some nice effects so that's what i'm focusing on now is i'm gonna want to get some lighting effects in here unless they're talking about the jesus movie because they worked on that in the concept phase but that's not too neat is it just... um yeah i'm not sure because i know 
I know they're doing a religious film as well. I just don't know that it's the same one that uh, Dom Carolla is working on. Well, I know they worked on that film in pre-production because they posted some concept art for it. But... Oh, gotcha. Uh, there's a question from... Uh... Oh, no, it's a different project. I take that back. So I, I thought it was that, but it's a it's a different religious movie that is in 2D. I'm looking yeah, at it Yeah, that's what I'm I sorry. thought. Yep, my mistake. A uh, question from Trey Askin, and, and I'm going to try to uh, ask this question best I can. So what is the most beneficial uh, courses on the website for for a beginner? Like well, I think the you... anatomy course, any of the drawing courses. <clears throat> um, uh, any of them, really, because they, they, I, I've tried very hard to create an approach um, that it doesn't matter what skill level you're at, you can you can get something out of it, you know. That's been a, a big goal. Absolutely. It's been a huge focus. Antonio Blue Addict on Instagram says, Aaron, love your art. Thank uh, you. I struggle when applying local color with your pastel C brush. I get overlapping and different tones. Is there a pressure sensitivity setting and yes. advice? Yes, I use pressure sensitivity all the time. I think that, they're asking. What that's on the opacity. What's so that? So you turn off the pressure sensitivity when you're doing color with that brush? Oh, uh, you can. Yes. What do you? Is I do sometimes, okay. yeah, but because, not very because, often. Because using the pastel C brush is causing some overlap of different colors. They're getting streaking, I think, is what they're yeah. trying to ask how to alleviate it. Oh. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'd have to see what the issue is. I think they're wanting it to put down solid, like opaque color. Oh yeah. Then you just, you <clears throat> literally turn off your opacity, pressure sensitivity, and that should do it. Bravo Delta, uh, in which I've got, I've actually uh, relayed a few questions from him earlier, I believe, says, uh, just wanted to say thank you for making yourself available like this. Sitting here in Alaska and being able to talk directly with a legend, in all caps, uh, <laughs> like yourself, is pretty cool. Well, I love Alaska, and uh, happy I to see that, you, that you're there. I want to go so it. bad. Go. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing stopping you, man. That's how I ended up doing. <laughs> some, some other sites, uh, Matthew McConaughey voice for the creature would be amazing. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here. Eric on Twitch says, I love the color palette of this piece. Oh, thank you. A lot of the details are going to come out in the uh, kind of the rim lighting that I'm going to try to get here. Uh, Mobina, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, says, hello, teacher. Uh, hello. I follow, I follow your work. I am 18 years old. I live in Iran. How can I be your student? My field of study is animation. Thank you for your answer. Double hearts. You can join up at creatureartteacher.com and uh, where we've got tons of courses there, over 700 hours of courses and that is where you can get all of my stuff how do you draw dragons what kind of references would you recommend well if you think about reptiles i think about there's a lot of different animals i'm thinking about when i'm doing dragons uh reptiles mainly birds uh a lot of birds uh and you know four-legged animals horses uh, depends on the type of dragon you want to create. Other than the Disney art style, uh, do you take inspiration from any other style that influences your work? Oh, yeah. I mean, reality, nature, um, realism, all of that. 
uh, influences my work big time. How do I draw faster? I want to get into animation. Practice. That's how you do it. You practice. Practice, practice, practice. Draw, 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 draw. And then when you're done with that, draw some more. YouTube comment. Dragons are just reptiles that are good with makeup. <laughs> They're good with what? Makeup. makeup. Oh, makeup. <laughs> I thought you said napalm for a second. They're good with napalm. Which they summer. are. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> I want to let people know who are just joining us, we've got a bunch of holiday sales going on over at PreacherRTeacher.com. Uh, we're running our 12 Days of Christmas sale right now. So all of Aaron Blaze's animation courses are $5 or less right now. One day only, 24 hours only. Go to PreacherRTeacher.com. Those deals end tomorrow, so get them while you can. <clears throat> uh, some of them are only a dollar, as a matter of fact. We've oh also got a new line of holiday mugs that are available at CreatureArtTeacher.com. If you go to CreatureArtTeacher.com slash mugs, we've got some new designs to choose from. <clears throat> Those have been extremely popular. And Aaron's 100 Drawings book is over 90% sold out. We've got uh, his 100 Drawings. It's a pen and ink drawing book. Uh, you can get uh, both signed and unsigned copies of that available now if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash books. <clears throat> also, we've got some new puzzles for the holidays. If you go to creatureartteacher.com slash puzzles, we've got two new Christmas designs that make great gifts. There's still time if you're in the U.S. to get those for Christmas. Head on over to creatureartteacher.com slash puzzles and pick up some. They're a lot of fun and they're all handmade by our good friend Kent from the Vermont Puzzle Company up in Vermont. Right on. Right on. So you can see, so the, the what I'm purposely doing is trying to get him to pop out by using this rim lighting. I'm imagining the lighting coming down, coming up from below, and the top part of his head kind of being somewhat in shadow. There's gonna be, there's light everywhere, so it's all relative. <clears throat> Silent Bob one two three on Twitch says to get faster at drawing. I took your advice and went to the zoo and did live drawing. It's really good exercise, and I would recommend it for everyone. Hey, great job! I want to ask Silent Bob real quick. Where, where's your buddy Jay at? <laughs> Snoochie booches. And I try to keep all the my different lighting effects, I try to keep them on different layers. <clears throat> Christy asks, hey, Aaron, would you ever consider making a class about drawing birds other than raptors? I bought the class, <clears throat> I bought that class and would love to see your take on parrots and songbirds, for instance. Yes, I would. Yeah, and I, we've talked about doing that. It'll be 110 hours long. <laughs> I will try to keep it under, I'll try to keep it under, under 50 hours. Aaron Blaze draws every species of bird. <laughs> every single one. And each species is two hours long. <laughs> yeah. Twitch question. Since you love to add rim light, are there any common rim light sources in reality or nature? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's all kinds of rim light. I mean, that's that's just rim light happens when you have the light behind your main uh, source of light behind the character. Now, you rim just, lighting happens everywhere, all the time. Now you'll often exaggerate it with, for a sense of drama with something like fire or moonlight yeah, or something like that. Which but... is what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love getting uh, those kinds of shots in my in my wildlife photos. Oh yeah. Especially in like the nice golden hour. Yep. So you can see I'm still being loose with it. Is Procreate a good software for making uh, an animated 
one minute short film? Yes. Or Procre do you recommend any other software? Procreate software? Dreams. Procreate Dreams. I really recommend. For an iPad. If you don't have an iPad, if you're on a Mac or PC, <clears throat> we would recommend TV Paint. It's yes. great software. Let's, uh, I'm going to jump over real quick. Philip Chandler says, I used to work in animation in the mid-90s. I've been taking your courses for fun to get back into it, uh, but mostly just for myself. Very cool, Philip. Yes. Very nice. Wanted to show you really quick um, right here. This was a short that I did using Procreate Dreams. It's a little minute and a half short. Um, am I am I able to play this on here without it without it uh, call, sound, calling it out? Uh, you might want to hit that. Well, no, the copyright on the music, you mean? Yeah, and all oh, that. No, that's fine. It's our music. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know if it'll if it'll recognize that. Yeah. But this is um, so this is a little short that we did. We actually have it. We Oh, well, there you go. But this is, um, this is Procreate Dreams. So this is, this was done all on an iPad, uh, using Procreate software. You guys want to pull that up? Yeah, you want to get the dreams short? We'll go ahead and run it for you yeah. So there you go. So that that little short was uh, was done in Procreate Dreams, in case you are not aware of it. And uh, that is available at, uh, on at the um, Apple App Store now. And it's only a $20 app. It's really uh, an amazing little piece of software. Uh, I, I loved it uh, working in it. And, uh, you know, they're a really great company, great bunch of people. Uh, over at Procreate, and so they've done a great job with this app, I think. It's so cool, you guys. <laughs> Any plans for a short or feature-length animation course? Like how yes. to do a short or feature? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am neck deep in creating Snow Bear, which part of the reason we are making Snow Bear is that when we are done, we are going to use that as a training platform to show you how to make your own animated short. Yeah, so for people who don't know, if you become a member, either monthly or annual to our website, you get access to an additional two live streams a week where Aaron is making his animated short film, Snow Bear, in real time. And you get to basically be a fly on the wall in the studio, they're, they're essentially streams like this, but you can ask questions. <clears throat> it's a much smaller, more intimate group. And uh, yeah, it's it's like animation school in real time. We've been having a great time. We just had our 135th or 6th stream, I believe. Yeah. Um, 
It's been awesome. We have so much fun with those. So go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and take advantage of that buy one, get one membership deal because it ends on Monday. Heron, can you please confirm if the penguin in your short made it okay? Where did the seagull take him? <laughs> he made it just fine. Matter of fact, we've got a couple of uh, ideas for little sequels for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no ill intentions on the parts of the of gulls of the gulls. Drop, they drop them right, right on top of a pot of orcas. Yeah. So I'm just going in and adding highlights on the textures. In areas that would be catching little bits of light from the outside. Uh, hello from Denmark, Aaron. Hello. Uh, do you also have courses for backgrounds and uh, mood settings? Well, we've got a course coming up from uh, Armand, Serrano. Armand Serrano on backgrounds and layout. Who Armand is an amazing concept artist and visual development artist. <clears throat> His course on our website right now is also just $5 as part of our animation set. We don't have a backgrounds course yet. We do have that one coming very soon. Yes. Uh, can you make a how to draw domestic cats course or any other pets? Keith? Yeah, we will. We've got a bunch of animal drawing courses in the works. And uh, dogs and cats is definitely one that we're uh, looking at doing. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, were the backgrounds done in Dream as well, or just the characters? Just curious. Of the the backgrounds I did in Procreate itself, and then exported them or imported them into Dreams. Which is how they've designed the softwares to work together. Right? Yes. Uh, which is better for practice drawing uh, to use traditional physical mediums or digital painting? It depends on what you want to do. I, I, I'm always a big fan of working uh, uh, traditionally just to have that in your back pocket, but it's not necessary. Um, as long as you're drawing, as long as you're working, that's, that's what's important. This question is for those that work with Aaron. Uh, artists tend to make faces of what they're drawing, but what other quirks does Aaron do? <laughs> Whenever dad corrects something, he always out loud goes, there we go. <laughs> that's probably the biggest one that I, that I know of. Let's see quirks that Aaron has. Gotcha. I'm sure. I'm sure Nick can recognize a couple more. One of my greatest videos. quirks is well, it's not really a quirk. It's a. It's really a a, a a a great attribute of mine is my patience. Yes, he's known for his patience, <laughs> which is actually we're, we're obviously joking because sometimes you get impatient, which is funny though because <clears throat> I would say you get impatient with people. But you obviously have a great sense of patience because animation requires it. Yeah. You know, I think you just get you, what you do as a profession requires so much sitting there and having patience that you exhaust it. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> and then by the end, your patient box is depleted. 
and thus your patience for for people themselves just goes right out the window. <laughs> but no, Aaron, Aaron is a great all around person. I'd say. <laughs> it's a honor and a privilege. To well, I don't think so, but yeah. All right, come on. I'm looking for. There we go. Looking for some texture here. A uh, newcomer just hopped in. You draw with Blockham? I do. In fact, you want me to pull the webcam around to show? Sure, Blockham? you could. Yeah, if you want. Okay, can you help me out? Uh, stick to the, uh... Sure. Got it. Hold on, everybody. You might be getting dizzy. There we Here's go. The Blockham. Can't really. Well, that's good. You got a good. That's a perfect angle. Yeah. There you go. There we go. I tried to. Well, oh, yeah. As comfortably as possible. Put everyone back. I don't know if this is too yellow. Do you also work on paper or, or only digitally? No, I, I work a lot on paper. You started on paper. Yeah, very much. Someone said, I like that view better. It felt like I was there live. Yeah, I've always <laughs> been an advocate for showing your hands, Joel. I do think we should find a way to make that happen more often. Oh, to the and from the person um, that was asking for, um, that was asking about the courses uh, from that's from Iran, it says uh, due to Iran's conditions, I cannot buy in dollars. Well, then your best bet right now is to follow Aaron on YouTube. Because not only do we um, uh, save our uh, YouTube streams on there, but we also do make new small lessons and whatnot on uh on youtube do you prefer the gene wilder version of willy wonka or the <laughs> tim burton one gene wilder hands not down even, without uh, without any hesitation i'm a tim burton fan and it's not even close his willy his charlie and the chocolate factory was terrible <laughs> come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. No, that's fur. Whoops. Whoops. Come on, Aaron. Yeah, I remember, um, I think, was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. Um, there's another YouTube, uh, channel called corridor crew and they do a lot of visual effects stuff in fact uh dad and nick got to meet them uh when they went out to california just recently yes we did um but they they've done this thing with different movies um where they go in and they recut things and they add a little visual effects and and the whole trope is what what if they turned a, a particular movie into like a gory rated r and one of the ones that they did was was chocolate factory <laughs> in which um willie in which instead of everyone just having their oh no i got kicked out because i got too big or anything like that it's like no these get these kids are dying <laughs> i'm pretty sure they're dying in the original you know? in the original story <laughs> like in no the in the movie. movie on the movie yeah they're no, I, it's pretty horrifying like, if oh, you really look at it because <laughs> no, they they show the they show the outcomes in the in the Tim Burton one, but they just they explain like oh they're just going to squeeze everything out of the or that turned to blueberry and mm. the guy that got shrank oh they're just going to stretch him out, but they never show them in the end. No, I don't think any of them would. I don't think any of them died. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, could you mention your YouTube channel again? Uh, Aaron Blades Art. Yep. 
A A R O N B L A I S E. Art. So what I'm going to do now is kind of burn in some areas in here that I want to really kind of stand out. Uh, have you drawn for trading cards before? That'd be exciting to see see or have a physical version of. No, Nick's been trying to get me to do that. Yeah, we've uh, <clears throat> been approached by the people who make Lorcana. <clears throat> and it's just been a hectic schedule lately, but stay tuned. It might happen. Do you prefer the Rankin Bass Hobbit or Peter Jackson's Hobbit? Peter Jackson. Another one of those no-brainer questions. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it when I was a kid. Well, I mean... The Rink and Bass, but... Oh, yeah, wait, The just... Hobbit. I'm thinking Lord of the Rings. Because yeah. Peter Jackson's Hobbit movies... He just we went, he went overboard, for sure. Yeah. A little self-indulgent, but I still like him. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with the with the original Lord of the Rings that he did, the trilogy of that. That's what I was thinking of when yeah. I. Yeah, those still hold up to this day. Absolutely love those. So what I'm doing here is really burning in the light. Everything the light touches. <laughs> And uh, who was it that, um, I always forget his name. Uh, who was the one that did the original, the animated Lord of the Rings back in the 70s, was it? That was Hobbit, Rankin, Rank, the, the Batchy. Batchy. Yeah. And Batchy always had a very unique style with his, with his films. So lighting is very important, obviously, to get drama. So this is what I'm really trying hard to get right now in this piece. It's really getting in there and burning in that dramatic lighting and getting those fun little details of embers burning. And... Hello, Blade on Instagram says, ooh, Aaron changed it from closed mouth to we are about to get toasted. Yes. Hey, Fun Film Animations have got in here. It says, hey, Aaron, Dustin, and Nick. Hey, Fun Film. Hey, Fun Film. Good to see you there, Pally. Uh, what is your favorite Miyazaki film? Uh, Princess Mononoke. Mm -hmm. And my friend Totoro. Yeah, I'd say my... I, it's hard to make a, a number one, but my top three would be Mononoke, Castle in the Sky... Porco Rosso. And then everyone everyone ties for last. <laughs> he was making uh, Howl's Moving Castle when I met him, when I went to Studio Ghibli and we, That's not a great we met. I do love Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. There's so many good ones. Even like Nausicaa. Yep. I think that was like the, fir the first Ghibli film. That it wasn't his first directed, uh, directed film, uh, feature. His uh, first Miyazaki's uh, first direct directing feature was actually uh, a Lupin the Third uh, feature. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, have any of you watched Blue Wide Samurai? I'm on my third viewing. Uh, yes, I've I've, I've been I watching it. I was, uh, to be honest, I was getting a little bored with it, so I put it aside for a little while. It gets good. 
I think it started off good and then got slow in the middle. Yeah, that's what's happening with me right now. But I haven't finished it. Yeah, I will not to to try not to spoil anything, but it definitely opens the and definitely opens up for a second season. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Kate says, I received the second book and I love it as much as the first one. Oh, yay. Nice. <clears throat> Speaking of which, someone said, do you have any plans to reissue the first book? My, I got volume two and it's a little lonely on my shelf. <laughs> well, you missed out. No, no immediate plans, <laughs> although we will do it at some point. Uh, have you seen the new Kung Fu Panda trailer? I have not heard about it. Yeah, it looks interesting. Eric says, I love the animated Jungle Book stories by both Disney and Chuck Jones. Being that it's public domain, have you ever considered animating any of the Jungle Book stories? Um, not really. Uh, I, I just, I like coming up with original stuff, although, uh, I, you know, I uh, was adapting a Philip K. Dick story at one time. But, um, but yeah, I, no, I haven't really. We've also, I mean, we've talked about Ricky Ticky Tacky could be a good yeah. uh, update. AG uh, Draw Wing uh, asks, will we be able to watch this uh, streaming on video later on? Yes. Uh, yes, we, you'll be able to see this on YouTube, uh, save later, which will be uh, on Aaron Blaze Art uh, on YouTube. What is your favorite animated holiday film? Klaus. Yeah, I mean, I love Klaus. Although way back in the day, growing up, I would say like uh, the classic Rudolph. I was just going to say, I'm kind of a sucker for the, the classic ones. Rudolph and uh, Grinch. Frosty. Yeah, Frosty. Those were pretty magical when we were kids. When I grow up, I want to be a dentist. Here's a question. I was going to post this on Facebook the other day, and I didn't get <clears throat> didn't get around to it. What's your go-to Christmas album? Not okay. song, but who do you think has the best Christmas album? Oh, my Buble. gosh. Buble. <laughs> Buble? Michael Buble? Bu Michael Buble. I like Willie Nelson's Christmas album. Mm. Is there a Willie Nelson Christmas album? Yeah, Pretty Paper. Then I'm sure I'd like it. It's really good. About the 80s, I think. Let us know in the comments what your favorite what going on with this? <clears throat> Christmas album is. I do remember I also had a um, like classic uh, Christmas al album where it had like all the greatest hits and it was like Lou, uh, Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra. Like I was like a lot of the a lot of the big big singers from back then. A sketched uh, beast beast uh, asks, can you share any news or plans? on new or upcoming courses on your website? Well, we've got a... Yeah, okay, go ahead. <clears throat> we've got a course right now in the works from Armand Serrano uh, on backgrounds. Um, David Coleman is working on a new course about uh, color and texture and pattern. And uh, we've got some more courses from Aaron kind of on the drawing boards yep. uh, in the early stages, but we, we know we're going to do a course on primates in the near future, probably a course on... Zoo drawing, an drawing zoo animals, animals from life. Yep, drawing animals from life. And let's see, we've got um, quite a few that 
are in the early planning stages, but not really, uh, not really uh, immediately in the works. I'm currently outlining my uh, uh, my photography oh, yeah. course. It's going to be yep. an introduction to photography through wildlife. So it'll be talking about the um, the basics and a couple of advanced techniques of uh, of the photography and uh and my personal approach on my wildlife photography through that so if you become a member over at creatureartteacher.com you'll get all of the 700 plus hours currently on our website and you'll get all of the courses we release over the next 12 months and they're all yours if you become an annual member to download and to keep and right now you can be get a buy one get one on memberships so that means you get a membership for yourself, plus you can send one as a friend. And what's cool, all of the courses and memberships on our website can be bought as gifts and scheduled for delivery. So if you want those to arrive in someone's inbox on Christmas morning or on their birthday or whatever holiday you want, yeah. you can do that. <coughs> Very nice. And that BOGO membership ends on Monday, so don't miss it. Uh, that sounds awesome. Uh, a bit of a random, random one. Uh, but do you have any courses related to drawing dragons? Well, we have a course on drawing imaginary creatures. You which, do a, which, which would help. You do a dragon drawing demonstration, I believe, in your course on Photoshop. Yes, I do. Digital painting and Photoshop. Any plans on bringing back the uh, Art of Aaron Blaze book, Volume 1? Would love to own uh, both books. Love your work. We actually got that question earlier, and there's no immediate plans, but at some point, yes. We'll probably start a wait list um, to get a sense of what the interest is. Any plans on bringing back the Art of Aaron Blaze? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, there's no plans for that. The answer's different. The answer's different every time. The answer changes. <laughs> now the I'm just having fun playing with texture and messing around with different brushes. And it sounds like Fun Films is very excited for the photography course. Says, yes, photography course. Can't wait. What is going on? Stop How it. much did you pay him to say that, Dustin? Huh? How much did you <laughs> pay him to say that? Her. <laughs> you don't oh, want sorry. to know. That's all right. <laughs> uh, Dustin, do, uh, does Dustin do any uh, art live streams, uh, too? I, I do not. Back in the day, though, I do used to uh, stream uh, video games, but that's about it. Mary, so I have thought of uh, live streaming uh, me editing photos, but I don't know how entertaining that would be. Luis says, my favorite Christmas album has to be Twisted Sisters, A Twisted Christmas. <laughs> Twisted Sisters, A Twisted Christmas. I have to that's check that one out. He said it's a movie? No, it's an album. Oh, I was asking album. for albums. Oh. Uh, what do you think of Clip Studio for animation? I'm taking the animation courses. I don't know. I've never used it. Clip Studio. I've heard good things. Uh, will you have an in-person class again one day? Yes. Went to one a while back and I loved it. Yes. Oh, I bet you this is a good one. I didn't even know she did did one, Aaron. But Brock says the best Christmas, my favorite Christmas album is by Annie Lennox. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's great. Aaron is a huge Annie Lennox I fan. love Annie Lennox. Fun Film says, uh, I love the embers coming off around him, around the dragon. Ah, uh, good. 
A Fiore asks, have you heard about Andreas Deja's film Mushka? I'm late co- joining, so if you've already talked about it, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah, we've actually I've actually seen it. Yeah, we saw it <clears throat> at CTN in November. It's great. Yeah. Armani uh comments say in all caps, not so cool. <laughs> Want to let people know we were talking about it earlier. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a copy of the book. Where is it? <laughs> Complete opposite direction from where you're walking. Sure. Sure. You want to go to a big screen? No. <laughs> there you go. So, Aaron's Art of Aaron Blaze Volume 2 book is out now and shipping. So, here's the book. You go to yep. creaturerpg.com right slash books, okay. you can order. So we've got lots of, it's full of my uh, digital painting, traditional painting, professional work, my own personal work, um, 250 pages of all kinds of oil paintings right there. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Fun fun, fun characters. <laughs> um, if you're in the U.S., you still have time to get a copy before Christmas. Go to creaturertq.com slash books. Someone says, I got my copy earlier in the week. Thank you. Uh, Dustin uh, Kimbler says, oh, awesome. I have, I have the first one, and it's full of terrific artwork. All right. Yeah, this one is designed to go right next to it on a bookshelf. So if you've got right. volume one, you're going to love volume two. We had some, uh, we held some art back. You know, Aaron's Aaron's actually got enough for a volume three. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Sketchby says, uh, that looks so darn great. But how much is UK shipping? Put me out of my misery. Uh, I think it's like $24. How much? 24 Yeah, for shipping. 24 25 bucks well that's in uh american dollar mm-hmm. how would we convert that to pounds they'll figure huh they'll figure it out <laughs> it's, it's last it'll be uh <clears throat> Yeah, not just a little over nineteen pounds. Give or take. <laughs> and uh Aya Bell R asks, uh, do volume three as well. Next. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Aaron Steves uh comments saying, Wow, your dragon looks amazing. I'm really a lot of fun here with the with the lighting on this one. Really blowing out some of the some of these bright lights. Yeah, this OLED screen is really sh- showing the uh, the brightness of those flames. Oh, good. I want it to feel like you got to put glasses on. Would this type of lighting be covered in a dynamic lighting course? Yes. It's exactly the sort of thing he covered in the dynamic light yep. course. All right, we're getting close here, folks. Uh, hey, Aaron. Hey, how's it uh, going? 
I can't get used to the lack of friction that is uh, drawing on a screen versus drawing on paper. Uh, do you have any tips to overcome that? Well, it depends on, well, just doing it a lot, you'll get used to it. But uh, depending on what device you're using, you can get, uh, for an iPad, you can get a screen cover that makes it feel like you're drawing on paper. And the newer Cintiqs have a little bit of tooth to them. Yeah. Um, so they're not as slick as they used to be. Jason says, hey, I just brought the Procreate Dreams and Paper Animation course. Thanks for these awesome deals. Can't wait to get started. Oh, good. I'm glad you got it. Very yeah. nice. For people who don't know what he's talking about, uh, you got 24 hours to get <clears throat> our animation courses over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. Everything is $5 or less. Uh, that includes... Aaron's complete animation course where he takes you through the fundamentals. That includes his advanced animation course, acting for animation, animating on paper, all of our animation courses, including some of our storyboarding courses from Tim Hodge, Tim Ruddy, courses on story from Chuck Williams, how to pitch. They're all $5 each today only. Preacherartteacher.com. Go get them and click on animation tutorials. It'll take you straight to it. Have you ever been charged by an elephant? I've been charged with a crime. No. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, we were in a vehicle, though. I wasn't charged. Um, I wasn't charged on foot or anything. But yes, we were charged in Tanzania. We were charged by an elephant. I ended up doing a painting of that elephant. Switch question. That looks awesome. But how would you animate something so detailed? I wouldn't. <laughs> I absolutely wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just going to do some experimenting now. In your Top. opinion, in my humble opinion, uh, what is the best way to learn or the best way to study? A subject and man and maintain the knowledge, uh, and, and maintaining the the knowledge of what you're of what you're studying. Any specific exercises you found useful? Except? Repetition. What? Repetition. Repetition. Benji on Facebook wants to know. Benji. Benji. Any plans on giving that dragon some sort of glowing eye? Not really. I was thinking about it. I'm, I might do. I don't that. think it needs it. I think the eyes are already having a slight. I, I, slight I purposely played the blue, but... made the eyes complement to the rest of the color. Mm -hmm. Mackenzie says, I received my 100 Disney drawings limited edition print, print number four out of 100, signed by Aaron Blaze. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Speaking thank you. We got a slide for that, Dustin. Hey, 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 Our oops. Disney 100 drawings yeah. uh, print is. Uh, on sale that's the puzzle oh, that's the puzzle Hang which on. is also we have those Where's those it? are only we only have 50 of those but the there? there we go there we go the disney 100 drawings print uh we only made 100 of them and we're over 80 percent sold out in fact i think there's only like 15 or so left it says 20 on the slide but it's an outdated slide if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash prints you can get one, and once they're gone, they are gone forever. And if you followed any of Aaron's live streams for the past month or so, <clears throat> he was drawing all of those characters on the live streams. So you can go back and rewatch all of the drawings that are on that print get made. Preacherartteacher.com slash prints. And we do have the puzzle that Aaron, uh, Dustin showed as well. We only made 50 of those. If you go to Creatureartteacher.com slash puzzles. There we go. 
Yeah, sorry, there's just so so many buttons of different I know different ads going on. <laughs> it's that time of year. <laughs> I press one button thing is one thing, but no, it's something else. Martin Berger. Martin. That's good. <laughs> How large are the chances that we get a course by May by in 2024? <laughs> oh, and he oh, and he was watching earlier, says Martin. Manny was watching earlier? I didn't see it. Yeah, how large of a chance would that be? I don't know. I don't know, Martin. I guess we'll have to ask him. <laughs> Art of Ava, Georgia, says, just wanted to say thank you. Nearly six or seven years ago, you were the catalyst for me exploring new avenues with my art and rekindling my inspiration. I can't ah. ever repay you, but thank you for so much. Thank you for saying so. And uh, Sketchbeist asks, do you guys still have the smaller sketchbook uh, left in stock? Just wondering if shipping is com uh, combined if I was to buy the art book volume two with it many things yes it is combined now that it's out of pre-order and yes we do we're over 90 percent sold out on that though the 100 drawings and uh dustin campbell art asks is there just as much thought into light source here than the actual subject itself it seems that the subject has life but it's really the light that makes it real yeah i mean i'm i'm doing i'm making up a lot of the lighting to suit the to suit the illustration um but trying to make it still feel believable but the lighting is that's the real star of this whole piece which is pretty much true of any work yeah. of art it's lighting that gives art life and form and form and everything yeah Oh, Fun Film says, uh, oh, Dustin, just wanted to keep you all updated. The package says that it has been delivered. And I am, uh, and I'm believing that, uh, what you're meaning, Fun Film, is, is the package is the gift. We got, that a, we got a package with? from Kim Cooper, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe but that's the a one from Fun Film, I think, is actually sitting in the box. I haven't been, I haven't been to the post office box today yet. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, we can't and wait. Kim, to if you're it. watching, thank you for the gift. Thank you, thank Fun you. Film. Makes me so excited. Oh yeah, I I'm really liking that shallow depth. Yeah, having some fun with that. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Art by uh, Evan Georgia, when dealing with reflective light, is it always the, quote, opposite uh, color of the light sor source? Sometimes it looks weird if I approach it that way. No, it does. It's it's always whatever color the light source is, really. That's what you want to think about. Don't you have a course on um, on bouncing light or just lighting in general? Yes. We have two courses on lighting, uh, <clears throat> how to paint light and dynamic lighting in the figure. And I believe they're both $5. Well, let me check real quick. I know dynamic lighting in the figure is only $5 right now, which is its lowest price ever and ends very soon. And I think how to paint light is in there too. Uh -huh. Yep, they're both only five dollars right now. Creatureartteacher.com. We really have gone insane with our Christmas <laughs> deals. Stop stealing our stuff. There we go. Just wanted to simplify that bottom. Oh, Fun Films uh, responded with our to our thanks, saying thank you for being you. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Well, thank you for <laughs> saying thank you. Well, thank you no, for acknowledging you. my thanks. <laughs> Makes me think of the two of the two Ram from Brother Bear, but it's just, no, thank you. 
No, thank you. Uh, Sketch Vice, other than your courses, do you recommend any books for learning to draw and paint? Would love to know which you studied from uh, when you were learning. Um, other than... Uh, any books that you recommend? Yeah, for learning I'm trying to, to think of. Uh, James Gurney has a really good book on color. That's true. Um, Terrell. Terrell Whitlatch Terrell has, has some great books stuff. on animal anatomy. That looks horrible. What's wrong? I, I tried a lens flare in there. I just was experimenting, playing with it. Are you still hoping to get a course by Terrell uh, on your website at some stage? Absolutely. Yeah, we mentioned that earlier. Also, I want to let people know we're doing a special holiday giveaway right now with the Brother Bear 20th Anniversary Christmas Ornament. If you are an existing member to our website or you sign up to become a member, either monthly or annual member, you are automatically eligible. We're going to be giving away about eight or nine of these signed ornaments. They're going to be signed on the bottom by Aaron Blaze, the director of Brother Bear and the person whose stream you're watching right now. <laughs> and Tony Cipriano, who happened to sculpt this uh, particular ornament for Disney. This, this ornament can be purchased on Disney.com right now in celebration of the 20th anniversary of Brother Bear. <clears throat> but we got them both to sign a bunch of them. And if you become a member to feature our teacher, either annual or monthly streaming, you'll automatically be uh, entered in a chance to win one. You just have to sign up between now and December 25th. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. You just gotta, you gotta do it. Finishing touches. Pushing a little bit of the contrast, adding some darks in here. Are we getting close to the one more thing? Yeah. There's always one more thing. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. Keeping it loose. Keeping it loose. You work towards the details. That's how you... Do an illustration like this. <laughs> Dustin Campbell Art says, sorry for asking so much. This coffee is strong, LOL. <laughs> Are you sure it's a coffee you're drinking or is that just a really large espresso? Bob says, Terrell Whitlatch's animal anatomy books are incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. Aaron wrote the foreword to one of them. You worked with Terrell... Uh, on brother, brother bear right yeah that's how we met yep all right i think i'm going to call it for people who don't know aaron directed brother bear brother bear. Was at disney for 21 years have you signed it have you saved it one Not more yet. thing let's give us a zoom and pan one more thing. also before we wrap it what a beauty there it is. So you can see it's very loose when you get up tight, you know. But um, it's about getting that, the whole thing to come together. I really focused on texture, value, uh, texture and value, really, you know, to get that lighting. 
to work in the way that I wanted it. Um, and really added contrast um, in the areas that I wanted the viewer to look and uh, added detail as well. And then had some fun with some of the texture brushes I have and, and silhouette as well. If you look at the dark areas, getting that to read against the background, um, you know, getting that all to read clearly. Yeah, I love how bright the, these fires looked. Look at it from, from over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Love that contrast. Very nice. So there you go, folks. So everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll, we'll be back next Friday. Um, and if you become a member over at PreacherArtTeacher.com, like I talked about, uh, we do, we'll also be doing live streams every Tuesday and Thursday where Aaron is working on his animated short film, Snow Bear. Yes. <clears throat> right now you have until Monday to become a member and get buy one, get one on annual memberships. If you go to PreacherArtTeacher.com, you can pip, pick up a membership for yourself and one for a friend. You <clears throat> Also head over to PreacherArtTeacher.com slash books and you can get Aaron's new volume two book or his 100 drawings book, which are both getting low in supply. So order them now while you can. CreatureArtTeacher.com. And remember, today only for 24 hours, all of our animation courses are only $5 or less. So thank you for tuning in, everybody. We're looking forward to uh, the holidays. We're looking forward to the end of the year. But we'll see you next week for, I think, a special Christmas stream. Yes, right? we are going to do a special Christmas stream next Friday. And it's beginning uh, to look a lot like Christmas. So there we go. This is called Dragon Fire, by the way. It's gonna Dragon, it's Dragon our, Fire. It's in our why is uh, that? <laughs> it is in our uh, live stream <laughs> images folder. Perfect. So there you go, folks. Thanks for hanging out today. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. I haven't been able to just sit down and just draw creatures out of my head in a long time. So this is fun to do. So thanks. I'll talk to you. Uh, we'll see each other. Well, if you're a member, I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. And if you're not, I'll see you again next Friday for our special Christmas get together. So have a great week, you guys. Bye, everybody. God bless, Bebop. Good night.